Well, hi, everybody. It's me, Miss Susan from the Crystal Lake Public Library. And I am in my wonderful patio because it is a great place to be. I get to see my backyard and I get to see all my beautiful flowers and lovely little creatures like squirrels and chipmunks and birds. Maybe you have a backyard and you've been able to see lovely creatures. Well, today I have someone in the basket. Who could that be? Yes, Rose in this basket. And we found a wonderful, wonderful book. So, in order to get started, what do we need to do first? Right. We need to wake up Ro, and let me tell you, Ro and Mabel, they have been having some wonderful experiences. Mm-hmm, he's gonna talk about that, I'm sure. So on the count of three, let's wake Ro up, shall we? Okay, here we go. One, two, three. Where is Ro? Where is Ro? Here he is, here he is. Did you bring a story? You did? It's in the basket? Time to read, time to read. Well, are you gonna, oh, Rose gave me nose kisses. You love nose kisses with your friends, don't you? That was something new that we've started. I mean, we never used to give nose kisses when we did our story times in the library, but you can give nose kisses on the screen, can't you? Mm-hmm. So what is that? Yes, we have a wonderful book. So if you know Miss Susan, I love, yes, I love Ro. Thank you, Ro. I love Ro. I love penguins. I love the stars. I love the planets. I love space so much. So, shameless plug for myself, if you have not done my Night Navigator series, you need to. Mm-hmm. You can learn all about the stars and how to navigate them. I mean, haven't you ever looked up and wondered, what's that? I'll teach you that. Mm-hmm. So today, Ro and I found a perfect book about a planet that isn't a planet anymore. What? Believe it or not, there was a planet that was discovered in 1930 that is no longer considered a planet. So, would you like to get the book out? And are you gonna stay for the story? No? Cause why? Oh yeah? Mm-hmm. So, Mabel and Ro have been sneaking outside. I know about it, they're sneaking outside. And they have been looking at the stars, right? Did you, you participated in my Sticky Night Sky, my Night Navigators, yeah. So you've been, you've been looking at all sorts of them. And what? Yes, there are stars that are actually have the same names as some Harry Potter characters. Hmm. Might wanna look that up. That's pretty cool. Okay, so so you're not going to stay with us because why? You and Mabel have been looking up at the stars. Yeah. So you do a lot of night navigating at night. Well, you mean you're up, right? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so let's find the book that Ro found for us. It's a great book. Look at that. It is called Pluto Gets the Call. You got a phone call. You got a phone call to say you're no longer a planet. Oh my goodness. And this is by Adam Rex, and it is illustrated by Lori Keller. What a great book. All right, Rose, so you are going to go back, take a nap, get some beauty sleep. You're, yes, you are already beautiful. All right, and then you and Mabel are going to have some fun navigating the stars and stuff tonight, right? Okay, so everybody say goodbye to Rose. Oh, you so enjoy seeing your friends. All right, so bye-bye. Put you in your basket. Here we go. Okay, shh. Put that over there. All right, so we are going to read Pluto Gets the Call. Here we go. 
Pluto Gets the Call Written by Adam Rex Illustrated by Lori Keller Ooh, someone's going to call? Are they calling to invite me to a party? I love parties! Here are all of the planets in our solar system. But the biggest is not a planet. It is a star. It is known as our sun. And in order, the planets go Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, oh, over here, hi, uh, behind the ice, and all those other guys, it's me, Pluto, the ninth planet. It is great to see you. We don't get a lot of visitors out here in the Cooper Belt. It's this huge ring around the sun that's full of frozen stuff. It's kind of my neighborhood. No big deal. So, not to brag, but I am mostly made of nitrogen. I am almost as big as Earth's moon. <laughs> I am really cold. And I have a big heart on my belly because I love being a planet. Bring, bring. Bring, bring. Oh, hold on a second. That's my phone. You got Pluto here. Oh, what a coincidence. I was just talking to someone from Earth. Sorry, I should take this. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. What? What do you mean? I'm not a planet anymore? Why am I not a planet anymore? I... Oh, okay. Thank you for calling. Hmm. That was just some scientists from Earth. They say I'm not a planet anymore. No biggie. They asked if I'd like to be known as the solar system's largest ice dwarf. And I was like, how'd you like to be known as Earth's meanest jerks, huh? Huh? I really didn't say that. I'm sorry, you were probably hoping to hang out with a real planet. Well, let me show you around. Psst, Neptune, are you awake? Oh, uh... This is Neptune. He's closer to the sun than me, but he's still so far away that it takes him 165 years to orbit all the way around. It only takes Earth one year. One year exactly. That's what a year is, actually. What are you talking about? No one, man. Go back to sleep. Neptune is pretty icy and gassy. I'm not being mean. He just is. His twin is called Uranus. They're practically the same size. Hi, Pluto! Uranus is icy, too. In fact, she and Neptune are called ice giants, which is, which is why they want to call me an ice dwarf, I guess. What's up, Pluto? I know you've been kind of a funky orbit, but I don't usually see you this close to the sun. All well, these Earth scientists say I'm not a planet anymore. What? Hold on. Bring, bring. There's my phone again. Bring, bring. Oh, look. It's the scientists again. What do you want? No, as a matter of fact, I don't want to be called a plutoid. Would you like to be called a humanoid? Sheesh. Hanging up. Gotta go, Uranus. Stay frosty. Next up are Saturn and Jupiter. They're gas giants. Again, 
I am not making these names up. Hi, Pluto. Hi, yourself. Saturn has amazing rings. Oh, stop. They look like solid bands from far away, but really, they're just made up of little bits of ice and rock and dust. Oh, stop, stop, stop. Oh, hey, look over there. It's Jupiter. Stop looking at me. He's just a big ball of gas. You're a big ball of gas. Um, not, though. I'm little, and I have a hard surface you can stand on, but Saturn and Jupiter don't. If you tried to stand on Jupiter, you'd just fall right through him. Keep off the gas. You know Jupiter. He's really stormy. That great big red spot on is a storm, and he's bigger than Earth. And it's been there for as long as I can remember. I'm bigger than all of you planets put together. Um, I should go. Bye, Pluto. Call me. Yeesh. There's a lot of garbage between Jupiter and Mars. Oh, nice. It's Pluto calling us garbage. We're not garbage. We're bits of rocks called asteroids and comets. Together, we're called the asteroid belt. Oh, gosh. Uh, sorry. I, I really am sorry. Just because he's a planet, he thinks he's better than us. What about Ceres? He's pretty big. He orbits around the sun. He's round like a planet. Yeah, that's right. How come you're a planet and I'm not? Actually, uh, I'm actually not a planet anymore. He's not a planet anymore. <laughs> He's not a planet anymore. <laughs> oh, I don't have to take this. I'm out of here. Um, so here's Mars. She's smaller than Earth, but, and she has a lot of water and ice. She's called the Red Planet because of all of the rusty iron on her surface. Hi, Mars. I have robots on me. Yeah? Some of them just sit there. Some of them roll around. Robots! The humans sent them here. Ugh, no offense, but I don't want to talk about humans right now. So next is Earth. It's where mean scientists live. Moving on. Oh, come on. Venus and Mercury are really hot. You're not so bad yourself. Venus is the hottest planet, and she's hidden behind yellow acid clouds. You'd hide your face, too, if it was covered in volcanoes. Mercury's hot, too, but he's also cold. Cold as ice. If you were standing on Mercury in the sun, you'd burn up. But if you stood in the shade, you'd freeze. Hey, Pluto, are you doing okay? Oh, I'm just kind of down because I'm not a planet anymore. Not a planet? But you're round. Yeah. You orbit the sun. You don't orbit another planet like a moon does. Yeah, but I live in a crowded neighborhood, and I guess a real planet's supposed to sweep all the ice and rocks out of the way. Hey, why don't you go talk to the boss about this? Yeah, man, go to the sun's advice. She's pretty bright. Oh, maybe I will. <laughs> Did you get what I said? <laughs> pretty bright? Because <laughs> she's the sun? Yeah, no. Got it. 
Pluto, you're far from home. Did you hear what happened to me? Pluto, you were orbiting around me for billions of years before the word planet was even invented. Oh, I know. I just liked feeling special for a while. Look out at the solar system, my friend. Oh. Mercury is the smallest, and I dare say, dare say the cutest. Venus is the hottest, and I rotate in the opposite direction as most everyone else. Earth has life, mm, and this yummy sandwich. Mars has robots. Oh, I guess they're kinda cool. Jupiter's the biggest. Stop staring at my red spot. Saturn has rings. Yoo-hoo! Hi, Pluto. And people talk about Uranus for reasons I don't really want to get into. Oh, shucks, you must mean I'm my charming personality. And, well, Neptune is Neptune. What's that supposed to mean? But Pluto, you're the planet who doesn't get to be a planet anymore. And people love you for it. You're still a planet to everyone who was too short to ride the Ferris wheel. To everyone who's ever put seven dollars into a claw machine and still didn't get the hippopotamus they wanted. To all the people picked last for kickball. Do you know that right now, as we speak, those scientists are still arguing about you? They are? You used to be the coldest, littlest planet, but now you have a big, warm place in our hearts. Aww. Thanks, son. <laughs> Don't mention it. I'd hug you, but... Yeah, you'd burn up instantly. It's cool. And these two pages have so many wonderful facts. If you wanted to pause this video right now and take the time to read through them, there's a lot here. Good things for your brain. You have to learn something every day. And we learned something about Pluto today. The end. So what'd you think? Wasn't that a good story? Man, we learned so much. You might want to repeat this video and watch it again, because you know, knowledge is power, right? Got to learn something every day. Well, I am so happy you joined us today. I hope you have a wonderful day and maybe when the sun goes down and the stars come out, go look up at the stars. You might actually see a planet up there. Mm-hmm. Yep. Venus usually appears up in the sky, but you need to learn more with my Night Navigator series with that. All right. Well, I will see you later, my friends. I miss you. I love you. And I hope you are doing well. Be safe. Bye-bye.